snow. Yeah. Yeah. In the snow. snow. <laughs> and uh, they they did something different. I had been the last two years. Is they had testimonials from patrons from different ones. They had hmm. some libraries set up with booths. And I sat at uh, Jan Shukowski's table, and uh, Leslie Coons was there. And you sat with our new rep. And so one of the things in terms of brainstorming, not brainstorming, what they were just promoting is that what might be interesting is do a, a Medicaid, Medicare mm -hmm. do an open enrollment in terms of, you know, where they have one-on-ones because it can be confusing with all the changes. Mm -hmm. And they'll do, a, uh, they'll do a workshop, you know, here at the library because they do a lot at Skokie, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they do a lot of Skokie. And they're amenable to doing, you know, to holding town hall meetings and all kinds of things. Right. That's a good idea. Um, I, I sat at uh, our new representative, Jennifer Gong Gershowitz. Mm -hmm. um, she uh, replaced Laura Fine's role um, when Laura right. um, was promoted to, uh, or elected to senator. <laughs> yes. um, and um, uh, Ms. Gong Gershowitz um, really was strongly supportive of the library, um, as, I, as pretty much everyone in attendance was. It was a love fest for the library <laughs> that day. Um, love fest. But, uh, I, I, uh, Ms. Gong Gershowitz um, expressed interest in holding office hours at the library mm -hmm. um, where her constituents could come in and, and meet with her. So I think that's, a, that's an excellent idea. And I said that we would do what we could to accommodate her schedule mm -hmm. to um, get some regular office hours for her. I think she's also doing her first town hall meeting at Northwestern on marijuana legalization. Mm -hmm. And so she wants us to pass the word. So <laughs> it should be interesting with an interesting community. But they were more anxious about what's going to go with the budget tomorrow in here in the governor's mm. speech so that's what everybody sort of waited so the budget was on is on everybody's mind how mm -hmm. to slowly bail it out now, of course our big news today is that um, the governor um, signed the bill for a minimum wage to go up to fifteen dollars an hour by 2025 Mm -hmm. um, and there are impacts to the our library, obviously, as a result of that. Um, our lowest positions in the library are our shelver positions. Um, so this, there, will be, there, there will be impacts to that. Um, in the library community as a whole, I serve on the Illinois Library Association Public Policy Committee. Um, unanimously on our, on our committee um, in, in, in ILA, we support the, the minimum wage to go to $15 an hour. At the same time, there is concern um, that this could have impacts on library budgets. Um, it could have a big impact in our in our organization. So it's something that we're studying very closely. Uh, there are also a number of bills that are being proposed about property tax legislation and potential freezes or reductions in property taxes. Um, as libraries um, are, it, in many cases, 95% um, of your revenue comes from property taxes. Uh, that could be very impactful. It could be a double whammy for some smaller libraries with poor mm, budgets sure. mm -hmm. um, to have to combat uh, minimum wage as well as a compression in, in their overall revenues. Um, so a number of things are keeping me busy with um, legislation currently with uh, libraries. Do you all have any questions about the activity of the General Assembly? Yeah, Dan, do you have a comment? Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean about being busy, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the only other item that I would draw people's attention to is the one book everybody reads, mm -hmm. um, which will be, uh, the book is Rosellen Brown's book, The Lake on Fire, set in Chicago in the 1893 World Columbian Exposition. Uh, there's always truly excellent programming around it, uh, which I have always enjoyed. So you all have your homework. Go read your book. <laughs> read the book. Um, anything else that we should be drawing attention to? Um, I would draw your attention to the communications attachment eight. Um, there's also a folder that we circulated uh, where some of the communications. Um, you know, we'll continue to look for the right way to communicate. People, patrons' comments to um, trustees in an appropriate fashion. While respecting their privacy. But while respecting privacy of patrons uh, who is making the comment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, is there anything else but 
to be brought before this adjust body. Yeah. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I second it. Uh, all in favor? All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Dan? Aye. 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 Yes, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for Thank you. phoning in. Sure, I'll be